You have to be ready to compete the whole way through. Do you guys understand? Start to finish. Once you get on the field, the, the minimum, minimum requirement is the effort and the competition and the communication. Do your part and do a little bit more to help your teammates out. You guys got that? Let's go. Training is back in full swing at the Sporting Kansas City Academy, but opportunities for players to shine in competitive action has been hampered by the pandemic. Major League Soccer launched MLS Next in May, a new elite platform for over 9,000 players at 110 academies across the country. The competition finally kicked off under detailed health and safety protocols this fall, with SKC facing St. Louis in their first match. The way I, comp I prepare our team for competitive games, usually the focus is mostly on us and how we play. It's a great gauge to see where the new kids are, where the kids who've been um, here in the academy are, and how they apply the, the information and concepts from practice. The three players for me that have improved greatly are one, Zaire Dyke, Edward Mendy, and then Natty Clark. I think what makes me unique is, I would say mostly my athletics or like my phys physical, but also like knowing the game and reading the game before it happens and uh, communicating with my teammates and trying to be um, being a leader. You guys don't always have to come to the ball when the center backs have it. Let them drive because he's blocking the keeper. I was born in Ethiopia. My, my mother left, and I was uh, like one maybe, but like. She only left because like uh, she couldn't like we couldn't they couldn't afford it. I lived with my grandma, and I lived with them till I was like four. I was in an orphanage for almost a year. I would say those were the tough, toughest moments. When I turned six, I got adopted by my family. They gave me an opportunity uh, to succeed here. My parents got in contact with some guy that uh, could find families in Ethiopia. Within like three or four hours, he found them, <laughs> surprisingly. We decided to make a trip uh, immediately. I didn't really know how to feel at first. I saw my brother and like he, he started crying and I started crying. My grandmother, and <laughs> she was just screaming hallelujah and praying and crying when I saw her. It was great. I couldn't, I couldn't have imagined anything like that. I think going through that and that transfers to me being a player by just knowing like that one opportunity could do a lot for somebody. Natty, over the past couple of years, has become technically very, very sound. Um, he is very, very intelligent, um, reads the game really well, and I think he's just becoming a more well-rounded and, and total player. And so, Get your shape, get your shape, get your shape. Go, your shape. go, 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 Bryce. Intelligence is, is one of our core values here at Sporting, so education is, is highly valued. Most of our kids are going to end up going the education route with some of our, our kids turning pro. If they do not turn pro, they have the option of, of going to a good, hopefully division one program that will help them further their education, but also further their careers that eventually, hopefully, some of them can come back and be pros here just after they've finished school. My name is Betsy Maxfield, Director of Player Care. Soccer is extremely important. You just moved halfway across the country to play in our academy, but yet you need to be a well-rounded person. So we take education really seriously here. Audi has really helped us with the education side. With the money, we'll be able to get tutors and uh, do some ACT, SAT prep classes. So Ozzy, talk to me about virtual school versus, you know, face-to-face. -face. Which one do you prefer? For me, I prefer going to like actual school, um, just interacting with my friends and, and teachers. It just makes school a little more exciting and, you know, I just like it more. Okay. It's amazing what teenagers feel these days, and sometimes it's impacted by um, the pandemic, sometimes it's impacted by social media. The support might be as simple as you're lending an ear to talk to them and, and understand them. So my role is to take care of all the distractions and anything that could happen off the field so the players can focus solely on soccer.
I'm very excited uh, returning to play games versus St. Louis, especially. I'm excited to play them, you know, show them what we got. It's a big rivalry, you know, they're across the state from us and, you know, a lot of their players, you know, they've tried coming on to our team to join us, but, you know, they just couldn't make it. And I think they just, they're always like wanting to battle against us, give it all they got. I'm always up for the challenge and, you know, I'm just ready for them. I think the kids get to realize how important these games are and how you have to emotionally lift yourself up to play against your rivals. Oz, stay high, stay high, Oz. Jay, get high, Jay, get higher. But it went here, it went here, it went here. Chris, how are you helping? It went back, it went out wide, it went down. And there's nothing they could do. George, 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 good, you're good, kid. Gain space, gain space. Easy, Oz, easy. Sauce, 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 sauce. There's some really, really good moments, and there's good moments pressing, but it comes down to the execution of the actions. Listen, I want to win too, right? But I don't want to win like that. They should have no feeling that they should be able to play with us, honestly. The things that we're, we're deficient in, is the things that we're deficient in all week. The focus of the small, small tasks and the small details. Really, I, I was just happy to get out there, you know. I always like a challenge. It just challenges me to, you know, think faster, to play quicker. It just helps me out a lot much more. We got the victory, so, you know, always happy to, to win here at home. Uh, I think the game went well for us as a group today. Uh, we got better as the half went on, and especially in the second half, and took uh, what the coaches said and applied them in the game. It's been a while since we played, so t today was, you know, the best day of spent, like, the last six months. I, I think uh, I did all right, because I didn't really, I don't think I did my best that I could have done. But uh, I gave assists, so I think that's one good thing I've did in the, in the team, for the team. I thought they were good. I thought they were effective. Gage, who, who sat out a little bit of practice, um, came in and had put in a, a really, really good shift. And I think that especially Natty did a good job of affecting the game and affecting his teammates. I found my role by keep, talk, keep communicating to my teammates and try to keep being the leader. All I want to do is just keep playing. I want to do it at the highest level and against the best players. I've given up everything for soccer. I just gotta keep going, hopefully to come pro. With match action under their belt, players return to training invigorated and hoping for more opportunities before the end of the year. Next time on the Academy, we travel across the state for a return class with St. Louis as chances to shine become fewer and decisions around the future of players move ever closer.